Hello everyone, so today we're going to do a tutorial just to help you do your flying lizard pose. So for flying lizard, it's kind of similar to the flying pigeon that we've kind of done a few little tutorials for, but it's different in the way that we have a lot of opening for our hips and our hamstrings. So we want to go ahead and start in a little plank position on the to feel your core really strong. So this is the same type of feeling you want to have for this flying lizard. We're going to take our right knee out towards our right up shoulder and extend it back and kind of lift it up a little bit. So you should feel knee towards your shoulder, lift it up. I would recommend starting to, you know, do this as you're hopefully a little bit warmed up. This is just giving you some exercises that are going to help you get a little stronger to do that flying lizard. Let's just do about two more on this right leg. Okay, one more time. We're not even shifting to downward dog. We're just holding that plank. Now, if you want to shift to that downward dog split, go ahead, breathe in, and then just exhale. Lunge your right heel outside of your right hand like you would come into a lizard. Calm down, release, just enjoy a lizard for a moment. Breathe in. You may want to come down to your elbows. You may want to drop a little lower. Again, just really enjoy the stretch. Allow that go because you're going to need it, okay? So once you're here for a little while, feel free to tuck that back to under, lift the knee, and start to already engage with this back leg because you're going to need that leg engaged in order to get into this, okay? So I'm going to take my right arm and kind of tuck it under my right knee here where that joint hinges. You want to hook up that right upper arm. Now I'm going to put weight onto that arm of my leg. I'm going to draw my left hand in closer and turn my left elbow into the ribcage lift the right leg and then lift the left leg so you're flying you're floating you're engaging your core you're breathing to come out you can just tuck the toe step back in or you can lift and you can come back through an upward dog downward dog and breathe walk those feet out very good job so take a moment take a little child's pose we're going to try the left side but i want to talk to you about the hand placement a little bit before we get into the left side so that hopefully you have even more success over there so it's kind of a weird feeling, but your elbows are literally in your rib cage, okay? So when I did that on the other side, on the right side, I'm gonna show the right side over here. I'm gonna get really close so you can see my left elbow is gonna turn in. So when I'm in this lizard on the right, okay, I have the arm tucked under. I'm gonna tuck my left elbow literally into my rib cage so that I can float. Okay, so we are gonna get that left side. But just getting used to it, you can even sit and just try driving your elbows into your ribs. You can even try just doing some work like this. There's other poses we may get into later. You can load them on those outs, okay? But it's just more that rotation. A lot of the yoga poses, you know, I say a lot of times if you can do a plank, you're strong enough to do those balances. So the magic is really just in the alignment, okay? So let's find that plank on the other side. Left leg, breathe in. Exhale, lift the leg. Just draw the knee outside towards that shoulder or towards that elbow. I try to think shoulder because then even if your knee doesn't quite get high enough, you're not gonna be dropping low. So I could say elbow right, but then you might get too low down there by the wrist. We wanna make sure that knee is going higher up because you're gonna to need to be balancing right above your elbow. Breathe in, let that leg go a little higher. One side may feel harder than the other. So even if you're like, oh my gosh, I am not ready for this flying lizard yet. This is tough. Just start with these. Do as many as you can daily. Like maybe, not as many as you can, but like, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. when you get there. Aim for at least ten. And then when you're ready, plant that foot. Whoo, really slide that lizard. So you're going to find you get so much stronger. Those arms are getting stronger. You're waking up the muscles you need for that flying lizard. Lower belly engaging, glutes engaging, everything. So just enjoy this pigeon for a moment. Release. Again, I'm going to get closer. I think that's helpful for you guys to see. So I'm going to take my left arm, tuck it under, right into that area where that left knee hinges. I'm going to take my right elbow and tuck it in. So showing from the front, it's going to look like this. My right elbow is going to tuck in. My left leg is going to extend. Then I'm going to lift the back leg, fly. Okay? So those can be really fun. Let me show that one more time from the side. Breathe in. Exhale, lift. And coming out of it, either just coming back through the lunge or going right through upward dog into downward dog and just release. Walk those feet out. So I just love to make these little videos. Go ahead, take those knees down, child's pose. They're not really full classes, guys. They're just little tutorials so you can get some tips 
and hopefully achieve these poses. Because I know when you're practicing at home, maybe you just wish you had someone there to give you those little tips so you can get that pose. You might be very close. So hopefully this helped. Again, rotating the elbows into the rib. One side of your body is holding yourself up using the elbow, upper arm, and the leg connecting. The other side is holding you up from that elbow into your rib cage. So I hope that helps. Keep breathing, keep practicing, and just think of it as a journey. It doesn't really matter which poses we get specifically at any point in time. It's about that journey, feeling that body getting stronger as your mind gets stronger, your heart gets stronger, and just knowing that you can do it. Keep working at it, keep going step by step and you'll get there. Can't wait to see it. Uh, if this helped you out, let me know in the comments. I'm just curious to see which tips can really help people achieve that flying lizard. And I hope you guys have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. It really helps me out so I can keep making these videos. Thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful day and see you soon.